Autumn caught her first fish. At, the, at this pond. Not at this pond. Well, yeah, at this pond. That's cool. Yeah. So there's definitely fish in them their waters. And it's a baby, so I assume it's parents. <laughs> Today, we are gonna go fishing, and I'm not much into fishing. So I am taking my little portable radio, and this is gonna be my first day of trying to set up portable. And I'm gonna do it more like a challenge as opposed to just, you know, doing it like an appliance user. Although I do have some tools with me that'll make this easier. Um, so let me show you what I got. Of course, I've got my FT817ND in this bag. I have my antenna analyzer, nice little banana clip type BNC adapter I bought off eBay for three bucks. Got speaker wire, cigarette lighter adapter for my radio, and I have a pair of wire cutters. I bought this because it's handy for jump starting your car, but it'll run my radio for about 30 hours. Has a USB, which I'm running the camera on right now because the camera's dead. It has a cigarette lighter jack, and it works really good for running the radio. I've gotten well over 30 hours of uh, runtime off my radio using this battery. So I've never been out to this area. They said there's not a lot of trees, so this isn't going to be an optimum situation. I just want to see how it works. I had found in my basement a piece of wood, small piece of wood, and so I cut that in half. Each one is about a foot and a half, maybe 20 inches long. I'll stake those in the ground, set the radio on the ground, and uh, connect the BNC right into it. And I'm going to tune my wires right there on site and see, I don't know how long my speaker wire is. I'm going to use a tuner. I'm going to cut the wire in half. I'm going to stretch it out, see where it tunes, and then I'm going to go from there. That's the whole purpose of this little practice is just to see what I can do with a radio, a tuner, some speaker wire, and two sticks and that little BNC thing. So that's my plans for the day. So I'll be filming a little bit later when we get to the site. All right, so I got my little radio here and I got these two poles. This is my this is my antenna towers. <laughs> yeah, right. So we're gonna try to makeshift a very simple antenna. Worst possible scenario, there's absolutely no trees out here. So nothing good for antennas as far as trees are concerned. So we're gonna see what we can do in this kind of environment. I got my speaker wire cut in half. I'm going to just take one of the sides of the speaker Above wire it. and I'm just tying and twisting it in oh, here. Now I'm going to tie the other end off here. Oh, there's a little hole here. I didn't see that. Again, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time to try this. So, there we go. So I'm going to redo this one instead of wrapping it around. Let's try this again. Tie this back. Twist it up. All right, so now, there we go, I got this. And I'm gonna take it and connect it to my tuner. So of course the antenna is not stretched out yet, so the SWR will be completely off, but basically, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna change the uh, range to 50 megabit megahertz. Yeah, so this antenna right now, which is just speaker wire, just coiled up and twisted would actually resonate except the impedance is way off. Oh, well, it's not terrible. 76. So it's a six meter right now. The way it's all strung up is a six meter antenna. Of course, you'll see this change as I spread it out here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the stakes in right here and I'll come back and we'll have the wire strung out as far as it goes and we'll see what it resonates at then. There we go. So that's here's my makeshift antenna. Let's see what kind of noise level we have. Now, HF doesn't really care as far as height, as far as because it's not line of sight. However, you're supposed to have it above ground a certain difference distance because of the, the size of the frequency, of course. And of course, this is way too low to really be worth anything, but we're gonna try it. Yeah. So I'm gonna tune it in. I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's increase the width. Okay, so got it all the way out showing 50 megahertz. And we're gonna scroll back to here. Let's zoom in. All right. 
All right, so right now we are 1.7 with the impedance of 81. So that's where we're at right now. Um, but the SWR is 1.7. So that's too long to be at anything that I can do anything with, I think. Uh, let's just see what we can hear. Go ahead and do that. Let's just take this off before I cut anything. So I got this at 5,000. I was talking on it, it's probably some kind of beacon. Don't know. Let's keep going. pretty clear but I don't know where it's from because I don't know Morse code yet. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'll probably cut this for 20 meter uh, because I don't know off the top of my hand, off the top of my head, what is allowed for my class as a general class in, in 40. Um, but I do know what I'm allowed in 20 meter because I've been working at lately. Um, so 20 meters would probably be best what to use right now if I want to go any kind of distance. So I'm probably going to cut this for 20 meters. But at home, I can literally hear nothing but noise. And only if somebody's got like a, you know, a thousand kilowatts, a thousand watts, can I actually hear them. This is like, I'm picking up, this is 20 meters. I just started to tune into it. And it's, it's just hopping with Morse code and stuff. What I did is I didn't have to cut the antenna. We're gonna try this. I'm at uh, 14,300. The SWR is at 1.5. Let's go down to 14. Even at 1400, it's 1 1.8, which isn't great, but I'm not going to be doing that because voice, my my level starts at 14200 that I can transmit voice, 14225 as a general, um, and then it goes up to basically like 350. So as you can see, it's 1.5 between 200 and 400. So um, the impedance is 73, and so all I did was we'll disconnect this, and we're going to turn my analyzer off. I did not even have to, I just walked off approximately 16 feet on each side to get a start. And then, I just rolled it up on the stick. So, let's see who we can talk to. Um, I was picking up on 20 meter. I was picking up uh, people in Florida. So, let's see how this does. Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Delta 6 again, please. Kilo Delta 6, Kilo Hotel 
Zero. This is W4 MLB. Major is head. License 17. State of Florida. Kilo Echo Zero. Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. So basically, um, my antenna sucks. Uh, so basically, I can pick up quite a bit. You kind of heard me as you saw there. Uh, I'm going to actually cut this for 20 meters instead of wrapping it up and see if that has any impact. I'm wondering if that's changing how the lobes are coming off the antenna. Maybe it's not. Uh, Quite, it's losing some efficiency there. I'm gonna go cut those so they're it's an actual 20 meter antenna. Uh, X ray calling CQN to stand in by. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Kilo, is that correct? Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Uh, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, is that correct? Correct. Uh, Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, you're five and six fifty six, over. Awesome, it looks like you're 5'9". Uh, I'm here in Newton, Iowa, sitting by the side of a lake down in a little hole with a 20 meter stit and two feet from the ground. Lima, Charlie, Sierra, you're 5 and 6 at 56, over. You're 5'9". Uh, can you hear me? I'll be 5 and 9. Uh, QSO, I think, I think you said a 5 and 9, 59, is that correct, over? That is correct. Okay, the Yankee Victor, please stand by, please stand by. Thank you for the five and nine. Uh, great to hear you today. Seven three, and maybe next time, over. Thank you. Have a good day. Seventy three. Okay, take care. A uh, Yankee Victor five, Echo November India. Can you tell Okay, so uh, we'll have to look up and see where he was at. Did he say where he was at? Okay, so we'll go home and look and see where he was at. Um, there was a lot of noise, uh, but it's the first contact I made, and this is after I cut the antenna to actually being 20 meter and not rolled up. It did seem to change how it was picking up things. Uh, I was starting getting stuff from Maine, which I wasn't getting at all before. Uh, it seemed like I was hearing different people. Uh, so apparently it did change how the, the, the lobes are on the magnetic field and such, which I don't quite understand yet on forest antennas, but wrapping it or cutting it did have a variation. Um, but uh, so I did make a contact with this little makeshift uh, antenna here about uh, two feet off the ground. Some people are going to be concerned about the fact that I'm so close to the antenna, but this is a 5 watt radio. And if I use the antenna that actually came from the ma manufacturer for 6 meter and 2 meter, I mean, it's like it's it's a portable radio. You're, you're going to have the antenna close to you. Um, when this antenna was, it didn't even burn me when I was transmitting on it. Uh, touching it didn't even burn me when I was transmitting on it. So I don't think I have to worry about getting irradiated with the wattage on this antenna being as close as it is. So, yeah, I tried to kill you. Anyway, it worked. Um, it has to be cut to it to actually even attempt to contact anybody. Um, so we're packing up for the day and uh, 73 KE0 LCS. Stop mocking me. Sorry, you're <laughs>